Hello, in this tutorial we're going to take a look at some V-bit carving and we're going to do quite a detailed pattern. This can be done within ArtCam Insignia or ArtCam Express. As you can see I'm using ArtCam Insignia. Any differences I will point out with the ArtCam Express version. Firstly what we're going to do is to simulate this toolpath that we already have created just so you can see what we're going to be creating. So if I right click over here under toolpaths on the project tree on the top right and then come down to simulate all toolpaths and then just select that. Now because this is ArtCam Insignia this gives me an option for the resolution that I want to use for the simulation. If you're using ArtCam Express you will not have this option it will automatically be fixed for you. So I'm just going to click simulate toolpath and here you can see it's giving me a simulation of what's going to be machined. If you want to move this around dynamically rotate it if you just click on the center mouse button the mouse wheel and then whilst holding that down you can rotate that around. If you want to zoom in or out you can do that by using the scroller on the mouse to zoom in or out. We also have these options up here underneath this flyout menu to access that you just left click hold the mouse button press down and then you have the zoom options. So here you can see that the part is being simulated. It's quite a detailed bit of V-bit carving here and there you can see the finished part that we are going to be creating in this tutorial. What we're going to do first of all is to change the material of this simulation. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So if we click on simulation, the top right under the project tree, you can see that we have this new dialog box open up below the splitter bar here. And you can see we have material. At the moment it's set to the simulation default. So what we're going to do is select that and here you can see all of the material that's available to us. And I'm going to select light oak horizontal. Now at the moment that's not being applied to this. You need to select apply and then that changes the material to the simulation. Okay, so what we're going to be doing is creating the toolpath for this. So if we open up just click on this plus sign here that opens up the toolpath tree and underneath there you can see that we have this V-bit carving so what we're going to do is to select that and select delete toolpath you can also do that by right clicking and selecting delete it's just going to ask me if I'm sure that I want to delete this toolpath so I'll click yes and then you can see we have no toolpaths created what I'm also going to do is to delete the simulation. So if I right click on that and then select delete, that will delete the simulation. So there you can see we have a blank sheet within the 2D view. So what I'm going to do is switch to the 2D view. So I can click there or I could just press F2 on the keyboard and that would switch to the 2D view. Here you can see all of the vectors for this pattern and what we're going to be doing is creating some V-bit carving just over these vectors. So we're going to select all of these. You can either draw a box around the whole of the vectors or very quickly just press Ctrl A and that selects all of the vectors. So to create the toolpaths, make sure that you have toolpaths selected within the project tree which gives you all of the toolpaths or all of the toolpath options available to you in the bottom right hand side of the screen and we're going to be using this toolpath here create vbit carving toolpath so if I select that that opens up a new dialog box for me 
and the vector association I need to make sure that this is set to selected vectors because I want to machine all of these selected vectors so make sure that all of the vectors are magenta which means that you've got all of the vectors selected the start depth is going to be at zero I'm not going to limit the tool to a maximum depth and the tolerance is a little bit tight I'm going to change that to 0.01 millimeters carving tool come down to my V carving tools here and I'm going to select a 32 millimeter 90 degree cutter now I can either just select that once and click select or I could double click on it and it will do the same thing here we have the width and depth of cut information so at the moment the maximum width and the maximum depth is unknown if I wish to see these values if I just click refresh and it will give me the values within the boxes there so there you can see it's going to go to a depth of 5.051 now probably take a little bit of a while to calculate that for this because it's quite a detailed piece that's why it's not set on there by default so if you're doing something really really complex you wouldn't want to have to wait while the computer calculates the maximum depth and the maximum width for you so that's why that's set as a refresh button rather than automatically telling you what the width and the depth is actually going to be I'm also going to set the save Z to 10 millimeters and the home Z to 10 millimeters set up the material thickness so I'll click setup and here you can see the material so the material thickness is set to 10 millimeters the model position is going to be at the top zero Z zero is at the top and the material thickness is 10 millimeters so I'm going to click OK for that and I'm going to click calculate now so this is going to calculate all of the carving tool paths now if I just close the V bit carving dialog box and zoom in all of the red vectors here are tool paths now if I wish to turn these off within the 2D view I can do that by selecting these light bulbs on the left hand side so that turns off and on the tool paths within the 2D view if I switch to the 3D view here you can see all of the tool paths on the 3D view I can turn those off by selecting the solid light bulbs so here you can see that that's for the 3D view so what we're going to do now is to just simulate this toolpath so if I right click on the VBIT carving and click simulate toolpath here you can see it's opened up the block definition this will not be on Arkham Express so I'm just going to simulate the toolpath and you can see that it's kept the material that we selected previously which was the light oak horizontal material so that's finished the simulation so that looks fine what we're going to do now is to save the G code to send to our machine so the way that we do that is make sure that toolpaths is selected within the project tray and then click save toolpaths this opens up the save toolpath dialog box on the right hand side by default toolpaths to save will be all of your toolpaths that you've created so because we've only created the one toolpath we just have the one toolpath in there so I'm going to change the name of this to vbit carving and I'm going to save it in let's just browse I'm going to browse to my desktop and open that you can see that that changes to where it's going to save it to now this will be set now within my favorite so I can just click the drop down and select that if I wish to in the future 
the machine file format is actually the post processor that you're going to be using for your specific machine. So if you open up that drop down menu and take a look through all of the lists of posts that are available within ArtCam, there are well over 200 posts available here. And find your machine within there. I'm going to use a generic G code post and I'm just going to select save and that will save the G code to my desktop ready to be sent to my machine.